Good afternoon and welcome to Noonday Prayer. If you've got your prayer book with you, you can follow along on page 138. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be blessed. From this time forth forevermore, from the rising of the sun to its going down, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, in his glory above the heavens. Hebrews. Therefore we must pay greater attention to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away from it. For if the message declared through angels was valid, and every transgression or disobedience received a just penalty, how can we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? It was declared at first through the Lord, and it was attested to us by those who heard him, while God added his testimony by signs and wonders and various miracles, and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. Now God did not subject the coming world, about which we are speaking to angels. But someone has testified somewhere, What are human beings that you are mindful of them, or mortals that you care for them? You have made them for a little while lower than the angels. You have crowned them with glory and honor, subjecting all things under their feet. Now in subjecting all things to them, God left nothing outside their control. As it is, we do not yet see everything in subjection to them, but we do see Jesus, who for a little while was made lower than the angels, now crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. It was fitting that God, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through sufferings. I'd like to invite you to take a few minutes, a few moments, to offer up your prayers and intercessions. This can be for yourself, for your friends, for your family, or for your community. Let us pray the prayer our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen.